the proposal for a negative income tax is a proposal to help poor people by giving them money, which is what they need, rather than as now, by requiring them to come before a governmental official, detail all their assets and their liabilities, and be told that you may spend X dollars on rent, Y dollars on food, etc., and then be given a handout. The idea of the negative income tax is to treat people who are poor in the same way as we treat people who are rich. Both groups would have to file income tax returns, and both groups would be treated in parallel way. Under current law, if you or I file an income tax return, and we have, let's say, I were a family of four, head of a family of four, to take a simple case. Uh, if I were still a family, head of a family of four, I would be entitled to an exemption of $3,000 without paying a tax. That is, if I had an income of $3,000, I would have an exemption of $3,000, I would pay no tax. If I had an income of $4,000, I would have a positive taxable income of $1,000, I would be required to pay a tax on that $1,000. Suppose I have an income of $2,000. Then, by the same arithmetic, I have a negative taxable income of $1,000. Minus $1,000 is my taxable income. The idea of the negative income tax is to apply a tax rate to that minus 1000 and give a man a, a subsidy in proportion to it. For example, the highest rate, it seems to me, at all feasible to use would be 50%, and it makes it simple for arithmetic. <coughs> Let's suppose a rate were 50%. Then if I had an income of 2000 with a family of four, I would be entitled to receive half of that 1000 back. That is, I would get back $500 and end up with an income of $2,500 available to me. If I had zero income, if I had no income at all, then I would have a negative taxable income of minus $3,000. I would be entitled to receive half of that, or $1,500, and in this way, this program would say nobody in the country, no family of four in the country, shall have a smaller amount than $1,500 available for it, for its purposes of consumption. That would be the negative income tax. Now, the point that I think it's urgent to stress to avoid <coughs> misunderstanding <coughs> is that while there's a guaranteed income, a minimum guarantee of $1,500, that income is not equal to the break-even point, the point at which you pay no taxes of 3000 This difference is essential because there are other proposals which have been made under the name of guaranteed income which would say, let's set a level like 3000 <coughs> Then if a family has less than that, we'll make up the difference. Now, the trouble with such gap-filling programs, with a program which says, if you have less than $3,000, we will make up the difference, is that you destroy the incentive of people to earn anything. Why should anybody go to work and earn anything? Now, under a 50% <coughs> rate, you also weaken their incentive. And if you were starting from scratch, you might be adding to the problem. But you're not starting from scratch. Our present welfare programs, our present direct relief, and aid to dependent children programs, in effect, have a 100% tax rate. Because if a family on relief, if, let's say, a woman, as currently is mostly the case under aid to dependent children, if a woman who is on relief takes a job and earns $100, and she's honest. She is required to have her relief payment reduced by $100. That's one of the ways in which we've produ been producing poor people. Yes, but it